What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. So I've been asked by people over quite some time about stretch marks, how to get rid of them and how to minimize their appearance. So in order to answer that question, we need to first take a look at what causes these stretch marks in the first place. And I'm sure most of you have stretch marks on at least one or two areas on your skin. And for me personally, it's near my armpit region where chest flies uh, stretches out the skin at the chest area and pull downs stretches out the skin in the back so over a long period of time when you keep repeating these movements week in week out you first of all especially when you start out start to grow your muscles will increase in size naturally stretching your skin and this increase in muscle mass will exaggerate the effect of the stretch during exercise even more so the more muscle you have, the more likely it is for the skin to stretch and cause stretch marks. So they are really caused by a constant and repeated stretching of the skin. Pregnant women have this on their stomach, for example, when they're deep into pregnancy because the skin has been stretched for months on end. So how do we go about minimizing the cause of these stretch marks and possibly getting rid of them? First of all, stretch marks naturally fade over time. The feature that makes them stand out is the reddish color they have when you first get them. And over time, they will blend in with your natural skin color and be less noticeable. However, we want to speed up this process. Obviously, we want to keep working out and using the full range of motion which inevitably causes our skin to stretch, so to stop that, is out of the question. Then there are two ways to minimize your stretch marks. Methods applied on the outside of your body and methods from within the body. Let's start with the outside methods. What we want is to make the skin more elastic, more flexible. Naturally, dry skin cracks and tears a lot easier than moisturized skin. So the best way to make this happen is to apply a type of oil. In my opinion, both coconut oil and argan oil are excellent choices to moisturize the skin and allow for it to be more flexible. Applying this, especially before training, would already allow you to reap the benefits. If you're about to train chest, make sure to moisturize the area that is most prone to have stretch marks, which is near the armpit area. When doing back, it's the same thing. If you already have existing stretch marks there, simply apply this oil on it. So that is basically the outside the body method, which is actually not as effective as the next one. A lot of bodybuilders or people who follow some sort of diet in general tend to go low fat. Remember, all of our cells are lined with a fatty layer, including skin cells. The entire cell membrane, which is the outside of the cell, is composed of fatty acids. So naturally, when your diet doesn't contain enough fatty acids, your cells will not be able to maintain a fully healthy membrane and will therefore be less flexible. A diet with an adequate amount of fat has many more benefits, such as optimized hormone production, and more importantly for this topic, the absorption of key fat-soluble vitamins, such as vitamin A and D. And if you've taken supplements before, they usually recommend you to take these vitamins during a fatty meal. And when you actually look at the vitamins themselves, you see that they are encased in a fatty capsule. This is because the vitamin is actually dissolved in fat, because that is exactly how the vitamin actually enters the body, the bloodstream. So again, when your diet is too low in fat, you will not be able to properly absorb these vitamins. These vitamins directly help your skin stay hydrated, firm, and elastic. So let's talk about the vitamins real quick. Vitamin D hydrates the skin, and boosts elasticity, where vitamin A helps rebuild collagen, keeping the skin firm and elastic too. So without these key vitamins and a diet low in fat, 
your skin will simply not be able to withstand the stress of working out and will therefore show in the form of stretch marks. However, don't worry, when you get stretch marks, when you have them, it doesn't mean you don't live healthy. We all get them. But if you want to optimize your skin and minimize the effects of stretch marks, following this advice will certainly help you. So to recap, before working out, apply a moisturizing oil on the skin where stretch marks occur and make sure to include plenty of healthy fats in your diet to improve cell walls and improve vitamin absorption. So guys, that was the first topic of many other topics that I will cover. Let me know if you have any other topics you want me to cover and I'll make sure to see to it. I hope this video helped you in some way and don't forget to stay golden.